In this video, I'll show you how I clear my digital workspaces. For me, that means my computer desktop and the downloads folder in my computer. And this is the third step in my weekly review, which you can see right here in my little digital sticky note. And this is one of those things that may not seem important, especially may not seem important to do so regularly, but I really found that my desktop and my downloads folder really are my digital workspaces. In the same way that you might keep your desk clean, uh, keep your office clean, keep your surroundings kind of spick and span, we now spend more than 11 hours per day on our devices. Don't you think that we can get some of the same benefits of tidying up and keeping our space organized uh, in the digital world as we can in the physical world? I think we really can. Let me now take you through what it looks like for my typical weekly review. So the place that I like to start is my desktop. This is kind of an average amount of files that will have accumulated on my desktop over the past week. So what I wanna do is hit Command N, which opens up a Finder window. And then if you look in the left sidebar here, you have the Para Notebooks. These are a series of folders that follow my Para organizational system. Those are projects, areas, resources, and archives. And all four of those folders are inside my Documents folder. So really this is the this is the file system for my entire computer pretty much where I, st I save all the different files and documents that I might want to reference in the future. So what I'm going to do is have this open up here on the left and then one by one go through each of these files uh, and see if there's anything I want to I want to save. A really easy way to do this on the Mac is to select a file uh, and then to hit the space bar and this little preview window will pop up. See how that works? I hit space and then I hit space again. So a lot of these you'll find I don't really don't need to save. This was a, an image, a screenshot that I took of my screen because I wanted to share it on Twitter. Don't really need to save that. I'm just going to hit spacebar again to minimize it and then do command delete on the keyboard and that image is sent straight to the trash. Same thing with this. This was a tweet that I wanted to make. I'm going to delete that. Let's open this and see what that is. Oh, this was an experiment I did to see if I could export my Evernote notes as HTML. Um, didn't really work, and so I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Let's see what this is. Oh, this was part of the same experiment to see if I could export the same notes in PDF. So that's not needed. This was a tweet as well. This was a tweet. It's funny, anything I share on social media really was just kind of in the moment, something I wanted to put out there, um, and is usually not something that I need to keep for the long term. Okay, that's not needed. Let's see what this Boarding. is. I'll just do. Okay, that was the recording for an interview that I did um, for an online course that we just launched. So I'm going to put it inside the Forte Academy, which is the name of our online school. I'll just stick it in there. Here are the slides for an online course that I just taught. Oops. I think I'll just move those into the folder for that version of the course. Actually, I might put it in the uploads folder there. Uh, this was something I needed to send to someone. Same thing with that. These images I was actually using for this uh, series on my weekly review, I can delete those. Um, these are a series of slides. I think I'll put that in the project folder for this very walkthrough that you're watching right now. Um, those are basically the slides that I'm using to describe how the weekly review works, so I can leave those there. Um, let's see, this was a series of documents that we needed for our home loan. So I can delete the zip files because those are just compressed versions of these. And then I'm just going to put these in my home buying folder. That's a project um, that we're completing right now that I had to send to the mortgage approval process. So I might want to keep those. They could be useful, but I'm just going to stick them in the folder. Uh, here's a little screenshot I took. I can delete that. And then these are three video editing files that are the ones you're watching right now. So I'm going to put that I'll retitle this guide to weekly review. That's the series that you're watching right now. And I'm just going to get them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave them right there because I'm not sure if it's a good idea to move a video file while I'm in the midst of recording it. So I think I'll keep those right there. Um, but that that's it. That was just two, three minutes to um, clear my desktop 
and now it's kind of fresh and ready for the next week. Um, what I want to also do is do the same thing with my downloads. I'm going to click here and say open downloads. I like to put these side by side. And let's see what we have here. So here was a graphic to promote an episode of my podcast. I'm going to go ahead and add that to Evernote. So I just get the image and I drag it right onto the Evernote icon. It's going to go ahead and open Evernote and then put the image in its own note. So I can close that. I can minimize Evernote with Command M and then I'm free to delete that. Okay, that was a download. I can tell because it says DMG at the end, so that's not needed. I already installed it. Uh, here's a contract that I'm creating as part of a new online course with a collaborator. So I'm just going to stick it in the project folder for that project. And then these were just different icons that I'm using actually for this uh, for this series on the weekly review. So I'll just put that in there. Uh, this is not needed. Here was an image that I'm also using as part of this guide. And then here was that, if you remember in, the, in a previous video, the, the signed contract that a collaborator of mine sent to me um, that I want to keep for my record. So I'm just going to put that in Art of Accomplishment as well. And that's my downloads folder. I can now close that, close this. And my favorite part of all, which is to right click the trash and to empty it, empty trash. And you couldn't hear it, but there was a whoosh sound that is my favorite sound. It's like the sound of popping a, a can on an ice cold beer or, or something. It's just like the most satisfying sense of completion now that my two main digital workspaces are completely clear and ready for me to start the new week. Hopefully that was a window into really how quick uh, it is to kind of clear and organize your, your digital workspaces using, uh, in this case, the Para Notebooks, the Para Organizing System, uh, which I'll put a link to in the comments of this video.